Hi, I'm Rochelle from Quebec Cyclidé, your local fish store in Terrebonne, Quebec, right outside of Montreal. Today, I'm going to explain how to survive a winter power outage. Every year in Quebec, we get at least two big power outages. One in the middle of winter when it's freezing outside, even so freezing that there was a time this month that it was actually colder here than at the North Pole. The second big power outage is right in the middle of summer when it's super nice out and the electricity goes on vacation. One way or the other, whichever hits you, you gotta manage this. First of all, I'd like to say that if you have a backup generator or a backup UPS, what are you even watching this video for? Just plug them in and you're good. For everybody else, you're going to need a survival pack. When the power goes out, there are three things that we have to manage. Oxygen, bacteria, and temperature. Here's how you're gonna survive this. Lack of oxygen is one of the biggest killers during power outages. Your air pumps, your circulation pumps, your filters, all that creates surface agitation, which oxygenates the water. If you don't have any oxygen in your water, your fish will suffocate. The more fish you have, the faster it can happen. This is the first thing you're gonna have to deal with because lack of oxygen can cause irreparable internal damage to your fish. So today you're watching this video, hopefully you're watching it with your Wi-Fi that is up because you have electricity. What you're gonna do is go to buy a sponge filter and you're going to set it up in your aquarium. The sponge filter is a great side filter for your aquarium. It will be filled with beneficial bacteria. So when you have a power outage, you're gonna whip out the first thing out of your survival pack, which is a battery operated air pump. These can be found at any local fish store. Plug your air pump on the sponge filter that has already been cycled. If you just bought the sponge filter during the power outage, there's no beneficial bacteria in it, but plug it in anyways. Using the airline tube splitter, put an air stone on the other valve. So now you have a sponge filter and an air stone. So for now in your survival pack, it's pretty simple. All you need is a battery operated air pump airline tubing, air stone, a sponge filter, and a airline tube splitter. Oxygenate your tank even if this is a short power outage. Don't just wait till hours later to plug it in. Plug it in as soon as you can. As you already know, the bacteria in the media in your filter is what is sustaining life in your artificial ecosystem. Once the filter stops, the bacteria will die off within a couple of hours. Also, another problem is that there is no bacteria in your aquarium to transform your fish waste into non-toxic nitrate. So it's very important at this point and throughout the power outage to not feed your fish. Because there is no bacteria, the fish waste and the fish food will not be transformed into nitrate. It will stay in its ammonia form, which is extremely toxic for your fish. Your fish can survive without food for a couple of days. They will be mad at you, but they will be alive. To protect your fish from the ammonia spike, the first thing that you're gonna do is take your biomedia bag and place it on top of the air stone that you placed earlier. It won't keep all the bacteria alive, but it's a good start. Also, don't forget that you have your sponge filter that is working with you too. To protect your fish from ammonia spikes, use Seachem Prime daily. This detoxifies the ammonia and nitrite in your water. Test your water daily even after the power has come back on to make sure there's no ammonia or nitrite. Once there isn't any, you can stop using this product. If the power outage lasts for more than four hours, unplug your filter. All the bacteria in your filter will be dead by now. Once the electricity comes back and the filter starts, you are gonna be spewing dead bacteria, which will create a huge ammonia nitrite spike that you might not be able to control. You will also have an insane amount of nitrate in your tank. If you didn't unplug your filter and you're dealing with this now, make a couple of huge water changes. It will stress out your fish, but it's a lot less dangerous than keeping them in toxic amounts of nitrate. If the power outage lasts more than four hours, leave the bacteria in the biomedia that you put in the aquarium water, but everything that's left in the filter, take it out and wash it. It's going to be dead anyways. Once the electricity comes back, 
your filter is going to be like new. So you're going to have to take the biomedia that you've kept alive in your aquarium and put it back in your filter. As for the rest, you're going to want to stimulate your bacteria growth. Use bacteria stimulating products. This will add just a bit of bacteria to the aquarium to help get it back on track. If you're having trouble controlling ammonia, use a ammonia neutralizing resin that add it to your filter and it'll help you out through this time. For temperature, hopefully this doesn't happen when it's as cold as the North Pole. If this power outage is happening during the winter, the temperature is going to start to drop gradually. Take precautions for this. Once you've oxygenated your water and you've protected the bacteria, it's time to control temperature. A pretty basic way of keeping heat in your aquarium is to take heat packs at the bottom of the aquarium. The temperature of the heat packs can go up to 45, but it's quickly dissipated in the water. Once this is done, envelope your aquarium in either a tarp or blankets or both, whatever you have, just try to protect it from the cold. If you have some styrofoam, you can use that too to protect it. Our goal is to avoid the heat from getting out of the aquarium too fast. Most fish will be able to survive when the temperature drops, gradually. What can be very stressful for your fish is rapid changes in temperature. So let's say in the summer outage, you add some ice cubes or in the winter outage, you boil some water and put it directly in the tank. That is dangerous for your fish. Once the temperature drops, your fish's system will slow down. They won't even be able to digest anymore. Their body is practically asleep. This is another reason why you shouldn't feed your fish. They can't digest, even if they tried to eat it. Basically, just stack up on heat packs, and as for tarps and blankets, well, you should already have some extra of those packed away. In conclusion, it's better to be safe than sorry. In the best case scenario, you never use your power outage survival pack. But in Quebec, we often get the power outages, so it's good to have one ready and on hand. Most fish stores will carry all of this stuff year-round, but when power outages happen and there are many people lacking electricity, they will sell out fast, so you're better to be prepared. Also, if the power outage happens in the middle of the night, well, no matter how much your fish store loves you, they will not be answering your, their phone at that time. So buy them beforehand, right after listening to this video. So that's it for today, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, leave me a thumbs up or a comment. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and I have a great website where you can shop online and see all my fish. Don't forget to sub to my channel. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.